What is a FICA score? FICA score explained in detail. You are in the right place if you always wanted to know the breakdown of a FICA score. All right. Welcome back everyone. So happy to have you back for another update. All right. Information that matters to you most. I am doing the research so you do not have to. All right. Make sure you're watching till the very, very end. Let's get to what is a FICA score. All right. FICA scores are the most widely used credit scores. Each FICA score is a three-digit number calculated from the data on your credit reports. Make sure you check the pinned comment as well as the uh, description box for the video I did on how to get your free annual credit report as well as how to contact all three major uh, credit bureaus. All right. So a FICA score is a three-digit number calculated from the data on your credit reports at the three major consumer reporting agencies, which are Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Your FICA scores predict how likely you are to pay back a credit obligation as agreed. Lenders use FICA scores to help them quickly, consistently, and objectively evaluate potential borrower's risks, all right? So they use the FICA score to determine how likely you are to pay back an obligation, all right? Let's go ahead and continue with how a FICA score is determined, all right? All right, let's continue. Now, how are FICA scores different? Not all credit scores are FICA scores because FICA scores are the credit scores most widely used by lenders. FICA scores are used in over 90% of U.S. credit lending decisions. Knowing your FICA scores is the best way to understand how potential lenders could evaluate your risk when you apply for a loan or credit. Other credit scores which use scoring formulas different from FICA may not give you an accurate representation of the scores your lenders use when accessing your credit profile. So FICA score is the more accurate score uh, when you apply for credit that the uh, creditors use. Not all scores are equal or on the same level as a FICA score. All right, now moving on. Uh, what encompasses that FICA score? Well, uh, number one is payment history, which is about 35% of your overall FICA score. Payment information on many types of accounts, for example, credit cards, retail accounts, installment loans, finance company accounts, bankruptcy and collection items, as well as details on late or missed payments, delinquencies, bankruptcies, and collection items, number of accounts that show no late payments, or are currently paid as agree. So 35% of your payment history makes up your FICA score. So as you can see, it is very important to make sure that you are paying your bills on time because that portion is the uh, highest when uh, determining or making a determination on your credit worthiness. Now, number two is about 30%, which is the amounts you owe. For example, amount owed on all accounts together, amount owed on different type of accounts, balances owed on certain types of account, number of accounts which carry a balance, how much of the total credit line is being used on a revolving uh, credit card, how much is still owed on installment loans compared with the original loan amounts. So number two, 
too takes into uh, into account how much your total uh, balance is compared to the original. So if you have a credit card uh, with a two thousand uh, credit uh, limit and you are charging right now the total is up to 1500 that is not a good ratio to the total limit and uh the amount that you owe you want to keep the amount or the balance as low as possible because it counts negatively it says credit utilization is one of the most important factors evaluated in this category considers the amount you owe compared to how much credit you have available while lenders determine how much credit they are willing to provide you control how much you use Figer research shows that people using a high percentage of their available credit limits are more likely to have trouble making some payments now or in the near future compared to people using a lower level uh, of available credit. Having credit accounts with an outstanding balance does not necessarily mean you are at a high risk uh, or a high risk barrier with a low FICA score. A long history of demonstrating consistent payments on credit accounts is a good way to show lenders you can uh, be responsible and manage your credit. So you want to make sure that you are having a balance with the credit limit you have available versus how much you owe to make sure your credit worth worthiness is shown in a positive light when you do attempt to purchase or apply for a new credit now moving on to number three length of credit history approximately 15 percent compasses length of credit history in general a longer credit history will increase a FICA score all else being equal however even people who have not been using credit uh, a long uh, a long time can get a good FICA score depending on what their credit report says about their payment history and amounts owed regarding length of history a FICA score takes into account how long credit accounts uh, have been established a FICA score can consider the age of the oldest account the age of the newest account and the average age of all accounts how long specific credit accounts have been established so that is 15 percent is your credit history which is also very important and now number four is a new credit which is only 10 percent fica uh fica research shows that opening several credit accounts in a short period of time represents great risk especially for people who do not have a long credit history all right it says that in this category fica score takes into account how many new accounts have been opened? How long it has been since a new account was opened? How many recent requests for credit have been made as indicated by inquiries to the Consumer Reporting Agency? Length of time since inquiries from credit applications were made by lenders and whether there is a good recent uh, credit history following any past problems all right so that makes up 10 percent of your fica score new credit now let's move on finally to what is a good fica score all right so generally it ranges from 300 to 850 where higher scores demonstrate lower credit risk and lower scores demonstrate higher credit risk. It says, note some types of FICA scores have a slightly broader range. What's considered a good score uh, varies since each lender has its own standards for approving credit applications based on the level of risk it finds acceptable. So no one lender may offer 
its lowest interest rate to people with FICA scores above uh, 730, while other may only offer it to people with FICA scores above 760, all right? Now here, the chart shows here that 800 or higher is considered exceptional credit. Uh, 740 to 799 is very good. And 670 to 739 is considered good credit. It says uh, near or slightly above the average of U.S. consumers, most lenders are considered in the 670 to 739 good credit uh, ratio. All right. So make sure to check out the other two videos on how you can get your free annual credit report and how you can contact all three major credit bureaus. All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and come back for all of the information that matters to you most. I am doing the research so you do not have to. And I will see every one of you again very, very soon.